This is Jared, and this is my friend Hilda. Hi. And today y'all are in for a treat. So we are going to be canning 40 pounds of tomatoes. We're gonna to be making pepper jelly, and I don't know what else we'll do. So make sure you watch the whole film, <laughs> and you'll find out, because it's gonna have a little bit of everything in there. So right now, what we're doing, it, what Hilda's doing, is she is washing the tomatoes. We've got the jars loaded in the dishwasher here, and I'm gonna sterilize them, and uh, I'm gonna put some big jars down here that I put milk in. We're gonna sterilize them, and then uh, we'll put them on the stove and get the tomatoes boiling. So we, hang on, and you can go with us. One pot of uh, tomatoes uh, cut in half into the pot. I'm using my pressure canner pot because we've got so many tomatoes. And uh, I got my other pressure can pot. She's working on that right now, uh, cutting the tomatoes up. So, but when you're cooking the tomatoes, guys, you want to make sure you stir them. You know, keep trying to work it and move it around because you don't want to cook it too much and scorch the bottom with the tomatoes sitting on the bottom. And this would be tough with a big pot, but I added just a tad of water to the bottom of it, so that'd be good. All right, next up, we're going to uh, bring these tomatoes, we're going to cook these tomatoes down and uh, then once I get them cooked down, I don't know how long it's gonna be because this is a bigger pot. I normally don't do this much at a time. But once we get these cooked down, and you'll be able to tell they'll cook down, make their, a lot of juice and stuff. And then I will take them and then I'm gonna run them through the uh, little tomato separator. So I'll show you that when we get these uh, tomatoes cooked down. Okay guys, so we got the tomatoes cooking down, the two big pots, so now we've moved to cutting up peppers. Uh, Hilda's cutting up jalapeno peppers to where she can put that in her tomato sauce because we like our food spicy here in Louisiana. So we're gonna add a little bit of heat to the tomato sauce. So I'm cutting and de-seeding de peppers. I've got them de-seeded so I'm gonna be chopping my peppers up and then I'm gonna make pepper jelly. So let us get these peppers cut up. Okay guys, the pepper jelly, I'm getting my gloves on because you don't never wanna chop hot peppers without some gloves unless you want your hands to burn. So uh, the pepper jelly that I make, pepper jelly can be made in different ways. A lot of people, uh, that's my dishwasher. It's a bear going out, so y'all tell Todd to get me a new dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> so the pepper jelly that I make, I use like five different types of peppers. So I'm using poblanos, jalapenos, green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, and I did a red bell pepper last time, but I don't have a red bell pepper, so I'm going to do an orange bell pepper. Same thing, they're both sweet. So I will chop these peppers up, but a lot of people make their pepper jelly with just jalapenos. So like any recipe, you can take it and make your own thing. You know, do it how you like. So this is how I do mine. So let me get these peppers chopped up. It should be pretty easy for us to get them chopped up because we just got, I'm just gonna put them up in this chopper right here and it's just that simple. So it won't take me long to get these chopped, but, uh, Take a look at Hilda's peppers, y'all. Look at all those different color jalapenos she's got. Is that not pretty or what? That's going in her tomato sauce. All right, so I'm gonna get these peppers finished, chopped up. Here's where we're at. All right, I got Hilda taking the tomatoes and she's running it through. So this attachment is hooked to my uh, Cabela grinder, meat grinder. And so what it does is it separates the seeds, the core, and the peel. So it's gonna send the seeds, cores, and the peel into this pot over here. And then we're gonna get the juice and pulp into this pot right here. So
So we've got two pots of tomatoes to do. And uh, so once we get that done, we're, we're not finished because we're not going to throw the uh, peels and the cores and the seeds away. I'm going to dehydrate those. And then when I dehydrate them and it gets dry, then I'll put that in my Ninja and blend it to a powder. And then I will use my sifter, how you sift your flour. I pour that into there and I sift it. And then the powder will go into a bowl and the sifter is going to catch the seeds. So, and then we'll have tomato powder. So if you dehydrate your peels and stuff, it takes a quarter cup of tomato powder equals one can of six ounce tomato paste. So don't throw your peels and stuff away, guys. Dehydrate them, because a, a sifter to sift it to separate the seeds is not very expensive. So, but here's my peppers for the pepper jelly. So what I'm gonna do, what I do is, if you don't want your pepper jelly to be hot, so you would use two to three jalapenos. You'll use, if you have a red bell pepper, you'll use uh, two and a half red bell peppers. You'll use one and a half green bell pepper. You'll use uh, about one and a half poblano. And, but I didn't have red, so I used yellow this time, or orange. And so the yellow you would do, you know, about a half a cup of the yellow and green too. And so you're just making a colorful blend is what you're doing. But this time I cut back on my yellow peppers and my uh, orange peppers because of the fact that Todd wanted me to make the uh, pepper jelly a little bit hotter. Hilda, was the pepper jelly okay? It was perfect. But we all know Todd just wants to create extra work for women. Yes. <laughs> so this time I told him I'm gonna burn him going down and coming out. So I've got about 10 or 11 jalapenos in here. And one and a half poblanos. So I hope it's hot enough for him. So we're gonna get this done and uh, get, work on this and then I'll bring you back when I put the peppers on the stove to start making the pepper jelly. So uh, when I was talking about the sifter for the tomato powder, this is what I was talking about. It's got little bitty holes in there. Poof. <laughs> so, and this is what the powder looks like. It's not that, that is gorgeous, huh? And yeah, it takes a lot, but why waste it? You can benefit from it. So, uh, we've got one, we already emptied one into the pot on the stove. And so Hilda's working on this one. So we didn't cook it down. Like some people do, they'll cook it and then they'll remove the juice off of it. So what we're doing is we're straining, leaving the juice, and we're running and getting the um, the sauce out of this uh, little machine right here. So, but it works pretty good, y'all. Look at there. So this is what's coming out. over here. This is the seeds, the uh, skin, and the core. And this is what we're going to dehydrate, this. Still doing the tomatoes, but this is Hilda's uh, peppers that she wants in her sauce. So this is the sauce that we've got that's been strained already. So it's still a little thin, so we'll cook this 
uh, down to where this will thicken up a little bit more. Uh, when we add all these peppers to this, we're going to actually have to cook it a little bit longer than what we normally would because the peppers are going to add juice to it. So, Hilda, do we got it all done? I think we have it all done. All right, guys. Uh, everybody knows how we have a bidet because I did a video. If you hadn't seen the video, go check the video out on our bidet. So, I told Todd about them, that pepper jelly. I'm going to burn him up going down and coming out. Now, Hilda, tell them what you're going to do. <laughs> I told Jared to turn the water off when Todd finished eating the hot uh, pepper jelly so he can't use the bidet, so it can burn him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he deserves. Hey, that'll teach him to say my pepper jelly's not hot, huh? <laughs> it's good. It's already good. <laughs> All righty, so let us get this done. Uh, and so we can get this sauce to cooking. And we're gonna add these uh, peppers. Let me go ahead and pour these over into here. Boy, that tomato sauce is gonna look like a Louisiana rainbow, babe. Ooh, I can smell the peppers. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this to cooking, and when we go to put it in the jars, we're gonna bring you back. Okay, sit, when we get this cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the jelly. I told y'all we were going to dehydrate these. So I don't have the mats that goes to my dehydrator. I need them, but I don't have them. So what I do is I use parchment paper. And so you know how the paper, it rears up, but it does okay once you get the tomatoes on it. And so, and when I do it, I do every other, I pull out every other tray. And it just makes it easier with the paper. But Todd's going to get me the mats. So what we would do is we take this. Hold the paper here. And we just lay it. Yeah, you have to hold it. Just lay it and we'll spread this out. And look, this thing dries them pretty well. You know, you don't have, you can run it back through there a second time, but me and Hilda discussed it and we really don't think we need to. Cause I mean, it is, it's dry. So this is a no waste tomato cannon process. Cause we're not wasting one bit of this. So I'll take this. And I just slip it up in the dehydrator and I just pull out another one. So we're going to get these lined out and start dehydrating. We had to add some more trays. I wanted to leave it uh, a little spacious. So we added a, a couple more trays. So we got a total of seven trays of tomato peels and stuff that we're going to dehydrate. So I've got that on. I've got my dehydrator set on 120 and then I'm gonna let it roll. Okay guys, this is uh, what I'm going to do. We uh, healed up, we did that with the tomatoes. And so this is the uh, juice that we got left. It's got a couple of little straight tomatoes in there. And I'm going to pour it and run it through here so uh, it'll catch and separate the seeds. So I won't have no seeds in our uh, vegetable juice. Is seeds coming out? Yeah, look at the seeds over there. So when we get this cooked, I meant when I get this seeded, uh, run through here and the seeds removed, I'll put it on the stove and I'll start heating and cooking up this uh, juice here. And we're gonna can that. So uh, let us get this going, then we'll get on the pepper jelly. Now we are uh, adding salt to the quart jars to, so we could, uh, 
put our start can in the tomato sauce. We haven't got to the jelly, that's up next. So I'm taking the jars out, and you see them smoking? We sterilize these by uh, in the pot. So we're go she is adding a tablespoon of salt per quart, uh, and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. You got one more quart jar. Okay. I don't know if we'll need it though. We'll just hold off on it. Leave it in there. You can. Where? Yeah, just hold off on that one. This one. Okay, so two tablespoons of lemon juice in there. So we're going to fill these up to leave an inch head space. Probably would be better if I got a measuring cup on and dip down in there. You want to fill them up? Yeah. Okay. This Is this your first time canning? Yes. So you see guys, first time canner. But I can promise you, she's going to be hooked now. <laughs> she's going to be canning up a storm. <laughs> All right, we get these done. Next up, we're going to put them in the uh, water bath to can them. You want to take your okay. roux off then? No, nah, that's good. All right, guys. We are about to make pepper jelly. All right, so here are the peppers that I cut. I'm going to dump them in the pot. And it doesn't have to be the same kind of peppers that I used, you know. If you want it to taste like mine, then yeah, it needs to be the same kind. But that's the peppers, so I'm gonna add these peppers in here. I'm gonna add a cup of apple cider vinegar. So mine is organic apple cider vinegar with the mother. You can use uh, plain white vinegar if you choose to. So I'm gonna add that, and then I'm adding two boxes of Sure Gel. You know, the, uh, I know two boxes seems a lot, but it just seems like with the peppers that uh, it takes more for them to set. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your peppers in, put your apple cider vinegar or regular vinegar. Then you dump two packs of your pectin in there. And you, you heard that? Show them all that, Hilda. Look at there. There's all the tomato sauce, guys. So, Hilda, how was your first canning experience? I loved it. See? She's going to be canning again, y'all. <laughs> so, what? We're going to add this pectin in here. And I'm going to bring this to a full rolling bowl. So show them this. See how it looks like it don't have no juice? But these peppers are going to uh, make juice, guys, when they start cooking down. I had to check, see if I had the burner on. Ooh, smell it. Mm -hmm. It smells good. So 
So we have the jars already ready for the uh, pepper jelly here. I did little bitty jars the last time, so it doesn't take us long to eat a little bitty jar. That's how good it is. So I'm gonna can it in pint jars this time. And it's gonna be good, I promise you. <laughs> so when I get this rolling, I'll show you what it looks like. Look in here. See how we got it? To a full rolling bowl. Okay, so now's the time to add your sugar. So I am going to add four and a half cups of sugar. And this is just an organic uh, white cane sugar. So the recipe calls for five cups. I normally use five cups of sugar, but Todd claimed it was a little bit too sweet for him, but it's not. Hilda, was it too sweet? Nope, not at all. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and do four and a half cups to try to please him. So you're gonna dump the four and a half cups of sugar in here. And so you're gonna stir this around and get all this sugar melted and then you will bring this back to a bowl and you will boil for one minute and then you ladle in your hot jars. And then once you ladle them in your hot jars, then you're gonna uh, water bath them for 10 minutes. And then that's it. So I'll bring you back when I get them ladled up, babe. All right, guys, I have it rolling, boiling, and I let it roll boil to one minute, for one minute. So now it's time to take it off. So what I'm gonna do is take that, and I'm gonna start ladling it into my jars. My kitchen's a wreck, guys. You have to look over because we have been canning up a storm, me and Hilda. Mm, that looks good. So same thing with the tomatoes, you're gonna to bring it up, leave a quarter head space. Quarter inch head space, I guess it is, is it? So I'm gonna get these all ladled up and then I'm going to put them in the uh, pot right here and water bath them for 10 minutes. And then that's it guys, and let them cool. But when you ladle them, you're going to want to take a uh, paper towel, a rag or something with some vinegar on it and clean the rims real good, you know, because this is sugar sticky. So you want to make sure that's good and clean so it'll seal. So let me get these done and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I've got the uh, jars in here. He'll put them in for me. Uh, we got them in the pot. So I got this. I'm not pressure cooking these here. It's just that we've had all the big pots tied up and this already had hot water in it. So I'm gonna let this come. I'm not gonna start my 10 minute timer until this comes to a boil. Once it starts boiling, then I'm gonna start the timer. So I've got the jelly out. They've already pinged and popped. So this is a little bit different color because I didn't use the red bell pepper. So this is the one with the red bell pepper. So we've been eating it up. So I uh, went ahead and used the bigger jars. So I got three pints and a half a pint. So that's it. Uh, we're glad y'all got to watch us make tomato sauce and uh, tomato juice and pepper jelly. So we appreciate y'all and the best way to help the channel is share the video out. We thank y'all and God bless.